and your GPS, not just for directions anymore. How to use the gadget to sniff out those speeding tickets, minus the hand gestures, right? The News Edge at 6 starts right now. This is Fox 5 News Edge at 6. Riding in on Connecticut Avenue this afternoon, I kid you not, there was a stationary speed camera on one block, a mobile speed camera on the next, and two cops running radar on the next. Three speed traps in three blocks. You think enough is enough? Tonight, your GPS system might be the key to leveling that playing field. Fox 5's Sarah Simmons here now to explain how it works. Sarah. Well, you know, that's a lot of cameras, Brian, and a lot of intersections just like this one have those speed cameras and red light cameras. Many people don't even know that they're here. They're meant to slow people down. Others, though, they just say that it's a money-making opportunity for the city. But you know what? Now you can spot those cameras before they spot you. The cameras dot the D.C. region, cameras used to deter drivers from speeding or from running red lights. But Joe Scott believes the cameras are over the top. Uh, living around here, I found out that a lot of people are getting red light camera tickets and speed camera tickets just for barely going uh, over the speed limit. So he found a way for drivers to find the cameras before the cameras could catch them. See, now I'm going over the speed limit. It's called Phantom Alert. This device is basically a GPS system that houses information on where thousands of speed cameras and red light cameras are located. The information on camera locations is downloaded from the company's website. And if you have a GPS system already, that works too. If you have a Garmin or a Magellan personal navigation device, then you can, all you have to do is go, go to uh, our website, phantomalert.com, and you can download the da database onto your computer and then using uh, the software that we provide, you can upload it into your navigation device. So we took a ride with Joe to see how it works. Red light camera. The Phantom Alert detected camera after camera on our drive through D.C. We drove down a section of Michigan Avenue with a 25 mile per hour speed limit. Speed cameras that will hit you from both ways. As you can see, if I'm going over the speed limit, which is 25 miles an hour, it will alert you visually. Camera ahead. And if you try to slow down, it will go off, and here's the camera. And police officers we talked with didn't have a problem with the devices. If anything, it gives us an opportunity to then uh, publicize it even further uh, to, to people driving along the roadways to just slow down in those areas. And in fact, the speed camera locations, they are public knowledge. Many of the police departments have them on their websites. There, how much advance notice does this thing give you? I mean, or if you're going fast enough, are you going to be by it before it goes off? We tested it today. He was able to speed up above the speed limit, but it does give you enough time to know that it's coming so that you can slow down and slam on the brakes if you need to. So it did work when we were out with him. Uh, sounds like a good entrepreneur, good idea. Yeah.